Hey folks, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me much. Got quite a wind blowing here, but I'll make this uh, kind of uh, I don't know, short and sweet. Uh, for one thing, here. It's not here. It's gone. Yeah, it went up to Larry's. He's just got to do a bit more wiring on the ignition. And then he'll call me up and we'll fire it up. He's kind of laid up right now. His back's really hurting him, so he can take whatever time he needs to recuperate before we fire it up. And, uh, well, one other thing I'm going is. Hey folks, I'm back. Just came inside the shop. Winds are blowing pretty good out there. We're supposed to get gusts between, uh, I think, 60 and 90 kilometers an hour, which is nothing for us here. That's just old hat. But another thing is, like I said, my truck is up at Larry's now, so that won't be too long from now. Another thing is, um, I'm not much into uh, small engines. You know, like when I was younger, I tore a lot apart, but never got them back together again. But uh, here's something I found on the side of the road that was just free. And uh, yeah, so here, so let me flap my lips, I'll show you. Yeah, it's a weed eater. It's a John Red GT25L. And uh, I don't know if you can, oh yeah, you should be able to see this. Look at this. Oops. Come on, focus, sucker. Well, you can make that out, eh? Made in the USA. So it must be fairly old. Uh, I just picked it up because the one we've got has got to go in for repair. And I thought, what the heck, give this thing a chance to see if I can get it working properly. So when I, when I got it home, uh, I noticed that, uh, that the trigger was broken but I should be able to find something or other or if anybody out there's ever heard of this make I've never heard of it before and might have some parts kicking around because the only little thing I need is another trigger I mean I could probably find one off another uh, weed eater and it's got this uh, where are we here whoops I'm blocking I'm blocking everything can't see it one sec damn late eh yeah, it's got a, an anti-vibe handle. And it seems to work pretty good. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's funny with these old weed eaters. I mean, everything's so easy to adjust. I mean, you, you, you back off this handle here. Let me see if I can get into the light so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like you back off this little handle, this little knob here. And it, uh, and it slides, you know, really easy. You know, it's it's just so simple. And, uh, yeah, and uh, when I dumped the fuel out, oh, it was like uh, tranny fluid. It, 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 like dark like that. And it was old and everything like that. So I uh, replaced the fuel in it. And the two adjusters that are down, I don't know if you can see them. Oops, oops, uh, focus here. There's, hang on a second. Yeah, those two little adjusters right there. Uh, yeah, I just adjusted those a little bit. And it seems to run pretty good now. But it, it leaks because it also has the, fill the, the filler, which is kind of weird because it's on the side like this. And it used to have a piece in here that when it was full would slide back on a plastic stem and block the hole but uh, it's broken too so like I said if anybody's out there got any parts from one of these from one of these uh, Johnson Reds you know that'd be kind of cool let me know but here uh, I'll, uh, I'll fire it up okay one sec get back to you okay here we go turn it on everything else works really good so let's see if I can do this one handed Okay, one sec, folks. She fires up right away. And the only problem is the, the only problem is the trigger. Yeah, 
so like I said, you know, it, it, it runs good. Just like all that, uh, some, some fresh fuel run through it and uh, let it idle for a while and rev it up and it, it cuts really good. So, uh, whoops. So I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, for free? Hey, why not, eh? So yeah, so um, whenever I get anything more exciting to show you, I'll show you. Okay, well, everybody? Well, everybody take care, uh, peace out and build on. And as you can see, uh, we got some bad weather coming in here. I'll show you. Take those clouds, eh? Oh, here, hang on. right above those you got the sun I can't see crap to the by it's the viewer here I hope you guys can so yeah so um that's my little whoops that's my little update like I said I'm not big on little engines I mean I know they're basically pretty simple but yeah so it runs good I just gotta find another trigger for it because it's hard pulling a trigger that's only uh, half an inch long. Okay, well like I said before, four people, everyone take care. Uh, hope everybody's going good and uh, hope Steve from In Debt With Kids is okay. We haven't heard from him in quite a while. You know, I mean, I know they've had some bad fires down there and everything like that, but I hope his family's good. You know, I just hope that maybe he's working too much and he can't get a video on or his family's busy doing family stuff. But all in all, I hope he's okay. Okay? Well, everybody out there, everybody out there take care, eh? I hope you can hear me. Okay, bye. Well, that's a little update on how the weather looks here, folks. Like I said, no big deal. We get this every year. We must be the only province in the, in the, in the world that goes from instant heat to instant rain and this. But anyhow, yeah, so, um, yeah, like I said before, that's my little find. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how old it is. I don't know when the, stop, when the state stopped making making them but uh, yeah so uh, everyone take care enjoy your weather wherever you are bye Cool.